first AHL game since last season. Uh, as last year was a uh, lot, lot of injuries for you to deal through. How does it feel to be back to a, a regular hockey routine this season? Yeah, it feels great. Uh, I mean, I'm just happy to be playing hockey again. And uh, I mean, it was a long process, but uh, you know, like I said, just happy to you know be here with the guys and back on the schedule. Last night you played forward. You were drafted as a defenseman, but not your first time playing forward. You played a lot in your youth. So, is it like uh, fitting into an old shoe, kind of? Yeah, for sure. I mean, uh, I haven't played forward in four years, but uh, you know, I just try to have fun with it, and uh, you know, try to you know just keep it simple. And uh, you know, I think uh, we did a good job last night. Being that again, you you got some game action last year, but not much. I think it was a total of six games, if I'm not mistaken, between the ECHL and the AHL. When you're working your way back into regular hockey duty, how, how long does it take, or what do you have to do to, to find that touch that you had a couple of years ago? Yeah, it's definitely hard. I mean, especially with COVID on top of that. I mean, I miss a lot of. Uh, you know, hockey um, for a bit, and you know it's definitely hard. But you know, uh, we have great trainers here, and they kept me in shape. And uh, you know, you got to work out every day, kind of different schedule. And, you know, it gets tough at times because you're not really with the guys on the road and stuff. So, um, you know, just happy to be back on the regular schedule, and uh, hopefully keep doing that move, moving forward. Is it helpful being back in the Silver Knights fold? Obviously, you've been at lifeguard a lot over the last year, so you know everyone just fine. But you're still here at the same time as Tyler Bush, Matt Bowden, Ziri Pateri, guys who came up from Fort Wayne with you. It's kind of Fort Wayne plus right now. Does that make it helpful? Yeah, for sure. I mean, uh, a lot of familiar faces. And uh, you know, I'm happy to have those guys here. I'm happy to be here. And um, overall, it's just a great opportunity for all of us. And hopefully, we can all make the most of it. Last night against Colorado, obviously, a lot of duress for you guys. And you guys were able to withstand that pressure. What do you do in game when you realize that that's the kind of game it is? It's going to be a game that you spend a lot of time on your own and you're going to have to deal with it. What do you do to, to manage? Uh, just make sure you're dialed on uh, our systems and, uh, you know, playing the right way, keeping it simple. And, you know, I thought we did, did that last night and, you know, it worked out for us. Is it hard? Any back-to-back, -back, the second half of it's going to be tough for, for both teams, but especially after a game that required so much of you guys defensively last night, does that make tonight even more challenging? Uh, yeah, it could uh, for sure. Um, I mean, guys are going to be tired, but you know, you can't use that as an excuse. And you know, you just got to come prepared and uh, ready to play another one tonight.